next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half block. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner, this man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight, he stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your own. Martial Arts Live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Break them down with the left oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Wow, oh, what a head kick! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the champ. Just a slip there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. 
big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Just misses with that one. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch to the clinch. Just out of range with that right hook. Just over two minutes, round one. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change. change oh, that's the right the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. to the body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. <laughs> oh! Oh! Checks that leg kick. Oh, straight right! You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. He missed with that jab attempt there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Massive kick down the hip lane. Now he has a headlock. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. That's a big strike right there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Straight punch lands. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. Got to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you, get you. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Unable to land the head kick there. Big head kick land. Right punch has been the money weapon. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. to the body. I want that well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. in this round really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. 
checks the leg kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Can't take many of those, better check. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at him drive his shin into the bone of the body with that body kick. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more fresher. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Another big leg kick lane. It's very tricky. Big shot land. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to put over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Straight right is there. Unable to connect with the right. And he caught the kick. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. into these big leg kicks. Beautiful body kick. Oh, just misses with the kick.
He's doing exactly what you're doing. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Block there. Oh, 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 he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice one, two there. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands through the middle. attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Liver kick. placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Nice leg kick land. Final minute now of round four. Big body kick. Good punch lands. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. 
That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Ooh. Seconds of round four. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. leg kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Let's go. Let's get the takedown. Look at the turnover in that kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Beautiful strike. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to get too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Nice body kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it. And he switches his stance yet again. Continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, right, left, oh, whoa! Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. He's got him hurt here. One minute 
minute to go in the fight. All right, late in the fight now, DC. The submission specialist clearly is going to be on the wrong end of the scorecards if we get there. You got to get going. It does not matter if you get reversed to the top. It does not matter if you get the guard pass. You got to just start throwing up the and hope by causing action to get glad onto something to end the fight. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice. Misses again with a right punch. What a fight. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. How the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly.